Welcome back to Z Code System, and we hope you are enjoying all the videos we have here on our YouTube page. And we are glad to have you back here watching and listening, no matter where you are in the world, to get up to date on the various picks that we give on Z Code System. This week, we have something very special as we are going to take a look at the Z Code System Playoff Simulator for the upcoming NBA Playoffs and NBA Finals 2020. Now, the season is gearing up for the playoffs in the postseason, which will tip off on April 18th. And then we will have a fantastic two-month playoff uh, playoff uh, segment in the NBA this year. And as, uh, as I always like it, this is the best part for me of the NBA season. And if you are an NBA follower and you are watching along this season, you will know that the NBA is going to be tweaking its schedule soon with a cup competition very much similar to the competitions being played in Europe as well as the soccer competitions played in Europe. So things are going to be changing up very soon in the NBA with that. But as I always say, the NBA playoffs are the best part of the season and everything that comes before it is just a little bit of basketball that's played. So this is the best part of the season upcoming. Now, before we get to the VIP simulator, or sorry, the Zcode system playoff simulator tool, which can be found in the VIP section on Zcode system, I want to tell you about the Zcode meter cash contest, which is back. And you can go to the blog right there and you can read up all about it to find out how to win some cash with Zcode system. And of course, as always, you can go to the blog to get the latest picks for games this week. And as you can see, we had a game, our most recent picks for the NBA back on February 29th. And you can also find out about how the coronavirus is affecting sports and sports betting, as well as watch our video here on our YouTube page that gives you some information about that. A lot of sports are being affected by the virus, uh, including the uh, Formula One coming up this season, uh, the Rugby Six Nations in Europe, and the Olympics could be canceled later on this year due to the outbreak of the coronavirus. But go over and check those items out to get up to date. And of course, don't forget about the Z Code Meter Cash Contest. Now, let's look at the Z Code Playoff Simulator. Okay, as you can see right here, we have the Z Code System Simulator, the Playoff Simulator for the NBA. And of course, you can use this for various sports whenever you want to get an idea of how the playoffs are going to pan out. Now, Z Code System uses a lot of different data to come up with these simulations. And as you can see, if you are an NHL better, you can use the NHL Playoff Simulator tool as well. And when the NCAA basketball tournament kicks uh, tips off, you'll be able to use it there. We're all getting excited about that, some March Madness this month. And so you can use those. But today we're using it for the NBA. And as I scroll back down, we can see that we have our teams, our 16 teams in the Western and Eastern conferences. And I'm using the teams in the places in their respective conferences as of March 4th, 2020. Now, for the most part, in both conferences, we've got teams that are nailed on to make the playoffs. I believe in the Eastern Conference, there are six teams roughly who are nailed on to make the playoffs. It is really only that New Jersey slash Brooklyn Nets and Orlando Magic that could fall out of the playoffs there in the Eastern Conference. Over in the Western Conference, the only team really who could fall out is the Memphis Grizzlies. But both, uh, all three of those teams are right now holding on pretty well for the playoffs. So as we all know as NBA viewers, when you have those top tier teams, they are you know, fantastic teams. But as you get down to those six, seventh, eighth seeds, you know, those are interchangeable between uh, them, those teams and some of the teams that are not in the playoffs right now. So that's something to keep your eyes on. And of course, some of the teams will be jockeying for position. Now, as of March 4th, the Milwaukee Bucks are the only team 
to have qualified for the playoffs already. The Bucks are having another fantastic season with Giannis Antetokounmpo, Antetokounmpo off the Greek freak, whatever, <laughs> with Giannis leading the Bucks uh, to the best record in the NBA right now. Again, they've already qualified for the playoffs, only team in the NBA to do that. But again, remember last year the Bucks had the best regular season record, but they didn't matter because they got beat by the Raptors in the NBA playoffs. And then, so we all know the Raptors went on to win the NBA finals. In the NBA, as all longtime viewers know, the more uh, the dominant teams, more likely than not, will win out in the NBA series, the playoff series. The series go to seven games, and they are built for the better teams to always prevail. It is very difficult for an underdog to win four games and to top the better team in the NBA, or the better team in the series, that is. So often the underdogs are not going to be going through. You're not going to often see an eight seed knock off a one seed. Now, years ago, when the NBA had that first round of best of five, we saw some very exciting playoff series. But of course, as the NBA wants the more marketable, the better teams to make it to the finals, they nixed that best of five and everything is a best of seven. So now let's get on to our simulators. So with the simulators, these are great to use to help you make your bets on the NBA Finals. So if you want to make a futures bet and you want to get a little bit more information or you want to test out some of the data that is collected by Z-Code system, then these are great to use. So if you've got a hunch that a team is going to go all the way, well, maybe this will help you uh, go over the edge to go and make that bet that you really want to make. Or maybe it will make you not make that bet. Maybe if you think that the Oklahoma City Thunder with Chris Paul are going to go all the way to the finals and you want to make that bet, well, maybe this is going to prevent you from doing that because, you know what, the Oklahoma City Thunder may not be that great once they get into the playoffs. So when we have our simulator, guys, all you have to do is to go to the VIP and you will be able to find the playoff simulator. Click on NBA, of course. And as I said, all of the teams who are in the playoff brackets here are as... Uh, are in the playoffs as of March the 4th, 2020. Uh, yes, 2020. Uh, now, you can change your upset levels. So I'm going to go with all three. I'm going to show you this with all three. Uh, we've got low, average, and high upset levels. So I'm going to play it, or I'm going to simulate it on all three. So scroll down just so you can see all of the teams that are in here. And we are going to hit simulate for this first simulation on low upset level. It's just going to take a few seconds because it's got all that all that data and all those numbers to crunch their Z code system. But in just a second, you're going to see on low upset level just where or who is going to win the NBA Finals. And Z code system on low upset level predicts the LA Lakers to go to seven games with the Milwaukee Bucks and to win it. Now, this is a fantastic simulation because as we can see, the Lakers going through uh, the top of the bracket knocking off both the uh, Memphis Grizzlies, Houston Rockets, and then playing the LA Lakers in seven games in that conference final. Uh, with the Bucs, we've got them going in, going uh, up against the Boston Celtics. Again, another great pick there um, going through. And then the Bucs winning that conference final and playing the Lakers. I think that's a fantastic, uh, fantastic simulation and that is very much how the NBA playoffs could go but again we want to take a look now at the average upset level just to see if those picks or those simulations will back up what this has done at the low upset level so we're going to simulate again all the teams go back to where they were and we're going to click on high sorry on average that is and we are going to click simulate and now we are going to see just where and how the NBA Finals end up. Now, once again, we've got the Lakers going to seven games with the Milwaukee Bucks. And as you can see, the Lakers going through against the Grizzlies and the Rockets, the Clippers making it through on their end of the bracket. And again, we see the Bucks and the Celtics meeting in the Eastern Conference Finals. So this uh, is very much like the low upset level. And again, I think a very good simulation of what we might see in the playoffs in April, uh, April, May, and June. 
did I say two months earlier? It's a three month, three month playoff sprint that we're going to see. Wow. So let's go back to our simulation and let's go to an, a high upset level. And we will see just how these teams pan out this time. So we're going to hit simulate. The numbers and the data is being crunched. And we're going to see who wins the NBA Finals this time around. Now, this time, we're going to see an upset. We are on high upset. And we're going to see a major upset here with the Clippers defeating the LA Lakers. Now, you might not think that's a big upset because the Clippers are the second seed right now in the Western Conference. But... This is pretty significant because that's the Clippers knocking off the LA Lakers and LeBron James and then going to six games with the Milwaukee Bucks. That would be a really exciting finals. Kawhi Leonard and the Clippers against Giannis and the Bucks. Now, we also see another upset that we didn't see earlier right here with the Raptors knocking off the Boston Celtics, which very much could happen, uh, knocking them off in seven games in the conference semifinals to play the Bucs in the conference finals. So again, a very good simulation to give us an idea of what could happen in the NBA finals. Now, I think all three of these are very worthwhile and they add a lot of uh, an potential answers to what could happen in the NBA postseason. So guys, you can use this to help you make your bets for the NBA playoffs as they come up in April, May, and June. Go over to Z Code System, sign up there, and get all of the access to the VIP tools. And you can use um, the other tools besides the playoff simulator, such as the over under tools and uh, the head to head tool. So go over there, and you'll also be able to use the VIP wall where you where you'll be able to get score predictions for various NBA games, or for all the NBA games for that matter, and for the Major League Baseball games, the NHL games and for all the soccer games going on in Europe, in the Premier League, the Bundesliga, the Champions League, all of it. So go over there, sign up today, and don't forget to go back to our blog every week to read up on all of the picks that we put up for free for you to read and enjoy. Again, guys, I hope you're enjoying this on our YouTube channel. Please like and subscribe to the YouTube channel, and leave us a comment to let us know what you want to see on the YouTube page, on the YouTube channel. Good luck this weekend with your NBA sports betting. And I hope this was very helpful for you with making NBA picks for the playoffs coming up. We'll see you later, guys. Goodbye and good luck.